Good morning, deeply loved children of God. Welcome to Story Time with Pastor Maureen. I am Pastor Maureen Howard of Emmanuel Lutheran Church, and as I do every day, I greet you with great joy as you've decided to come and join me to read the wonderful stories of the Bible. Well, on Sunday, we learned the story, we reread the story of Easter. And so today, we're just going to keep on going through the season of Easter and read those stories again. We will be reading from the Spark Story Bible, and that is published by Augsburg Fortress. And so let's continue to read those wonderful stories of the resurrection of Jesus. And so get into a comfortable position, and we'll begin. The story for this morning is called The Road to Emmaus, and Emmaus is a town. So let's begin. Three days after Jesus died, Cleopas and his friend were slowly walking down to the road to Emmaus. They were walking slowly because they felt very sad. Why did Jesus have to die? die, they wondered. After a while, a stranger began to walk along with them. The stranger was really Jesus, but Cleopas and his friend didn't know it. What are you talking about? The stranger asked. The men looked at each other. Are you the only person in town who doesn't know what just happened? They asked. They told the stranger what had happened to Jesus. Jesus was a great teacher, Cleopas said. We hoped he was the one God promised would save the world. But instead, he died on a cross. We took Jesus' body down and put it in a tomb. This morning, our friends went to the tomb, but Jesus' body was gone. They said there was an angel there instead. The angel told our friends, Jesus is alive. But stop being silly, the stranger said. How many times do you need to hear this? It was God's plan for Jesus to die and become alive again to save the world. And here's a picture of Cleopas and his friend and they're walking and they're look at how they're talking. They're, they're so sad and confused and excited all at the same time. Cleopas and his friend are talking about how Jesus is alive, but they don't understand. And here is Jesus right there starting to walk up to them. And can you find Squiggles? Well, Squiggles is a little hard this time. Can you find Squiggles? Look closely on the page. There he is. You found him. Squiggles is right there right next to Jesus. Well, let's hear what happens. By now, they were almost to Emmaus. Cleopas invited the stranger to stay for dinner. During dinner, the stranger picked up a loaf of bread, broke it, blessed it, and gave each man a piece. All of a sudden, Cleopas and his friend recognized the stranger. It was Jesus. But then, Jesus disappeared. Cleopas and his friend jumped up, ran from the room, and went to tell the rest of Jesus' disciples that Jesus really was alive. God kept another promise. Here's the picture 
of Jesus and he's breaking bread and he gives it to his friend Cleopas and the other disciple and you can see the excitement in Cleopas's eyes as he now recognizes Jesus. Jesus is alive! Yay! And can you find squiggles on the page? There he is, right there. Oh, let me get my finger down there. Right there next to Cleopas. And even, look how excited Squiggles is that Jesus is alive. Deeply loved children of God. Jesus makes promises. God makes promises. And they always come true. God never makes a, a promise and then doesn't make it happen. God always fulfills God's promises. And that's a promise that God makes to you, to me, and to the whole world. That God looks at you and says, you are important. You are wonderful. You are worthy of Jesus's love. And Jesus's promise to never stop loving you is true. Jesus will never, ever, ever stop loving you. And so let's on the count of three say, Jesus loves me. You ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves me. Yes, beloved children, Jesus loves you. But Jesus doesn't just love you. Jesus loves everybody in the whole world. That's a lot of people. So why don't we say, and Jesus loves our neighbors too, because our neighbors are everybody, not just the people that live next door or not just the people you know, but our neighbors are everybody. So let's, on the count of three, say, Jesus loves our neighbors too. You ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves our neighbors too. Yes, God looks at all God's people and says, you are beautiful, you are important, and you are precious. Oh. So Nancy and Charles and Hannah and Randy, God says to you, I love you forever. And Yarrow and Mary and Clarence and Clarice, God says to you, you are my special people. I love you so much. And Bella and Harold and Joyce and Mark and Marty, God says to you, I love you so much. And Lori and Hamilton, God says to you, you are are precious in my sight. Oh, beautiful people, people of God. God says, I love you and he will love you forever. So I will see you tomorrow for story time, Pastor Maureen at 10 a.m. But I go on vacation on Thursday. And so I'm gonna spend some time with my family on vacation. And so while I'm on vacation, know that God does not stop loving you. God loves you today, tomorrow, and always. But I will not be doing story time with Pastor Maureen starting on Thursday. But I'll be on vacation, on rest, and I will begin again on July 9th. On Thursday, July 9th at 10 a.m., we'll begin again with story time with Pastor Maureen. But I will see you tomorrow, 10 a.m.
for story time for, with Pastor Maureen as we continue to read the wonderful stories about how much Jesus loves you. So have a grateful day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Story time with Pastor Maureen at 10 a.m. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, everybody.